20th century science has also demonstrated that there are systems and organs with extremely complicated and intricate mechanisms at work in living beings. These systems and organs will not function even if a single component of them is lacking. This characteristic, called the irreducible complexity of life, is evidence that these structures must have emerged at once and fully formed. This fact definitely demolishes the evolutionist claim that living beings evolved gradually by natural selection through minor changes over time. When it was clear that the mechanism of natural selection proposed by Darwin had no evolutionary power, evolutionists had to make a fundamental change in the theory. In addition to the concept of natural selection, they added a second mechanism called mutation. Mutations are alterations or distortions that take place in the DNA of living beings, mostly as a result of external effects such as radiation or chemical action. The theory of evolution now holds that living things are differentiated from one another and develop as a result of mutations. This cannot be true, for mutations only damage the information in the DNA and give only harm to a living being. No beneficial mutation has yet been observed either in nature or in laboratories. Since mutations do not add new genetic information, it is impossible for living beings to acquire new organs through mutations. No reptile could ever acquire wings, nor could an eyeless creature develop eyes by mutations. For decades, evolutionists subjected different living beings to the effects of radiation and chemicals in an attempt to obtain favorable mutations. What they always ended up with were disabled, deficient, or barren creatures. Countless experiments carried out on fruit flies have shown that the effects of mutations are not beneficial, but rather destructive or fatal. Mutations disrupt the perfect DNA code of a living thing and turn it into a freak of nature. This is why Professor Richard Dawkins, one of the most renowned advocates of the theory of evolution of our day, hesitates when he is asked to give a single example that increases the genetic information. Professor Dawkins, can you give an example of a genetic mutation or an evolutionary process which can be seen to increase the information in the genome? truth is very evident. Life has such a complex design that can never come about by chance. A mechanical watch cannot be formed as a result of the coincidental assembling of cogs, and it proves that there is an intelligent watchmaker. Likewise, life embodies a superior design that proves the existence of a creator who has created it from nothing. The whole universe is the outcome of a flawless creation. The exalted wisdom, power, and knowledge of the creator shows itself in everything he has created. Even the creation of man himself is a miracle that discloses a fact that the theory of evolution strives to sweep out of sight. 